Mwana bungo mpo? Tuko. Tupo. Asante sana mimi kama bingo. Koordinator bunge la wananchi. Leo niko hapa Jakaranda ili tusungumuze mambo kadhaa ambazo inaendelea hii Kenya hii. Kitu cha kwanza tuliona tuliambiwa na baba wetu, President the President of the People, ikiwa ametoa, ikiwa anaongea kwa lugha yenye haijulikani, atinyani amepande juu ya miti, alafu kuna nyani ambaye wako chini, anacheka yule akojua ambaye anakula matunda huko, ili ajue na ajui hata yeye ako na Ya, kundule yake ni nyekundu kwa hivyo tumeona hii Kenya hii wale Mount Kenya pale wakiwa wa, wa Kenya wengine walikuwa wanalea wao walikuwa wanacheka wakiwa wanakula nyama wanakula mchele ili wanafurahia tukaona mahali pengine tena sasa ikiwa wanakamati imewekwa ili waongelee juu ya wa Kenya shida ambazo tunayopitia lakini cha kushangaza ni kwamba hao watu Watu wa Kenya kwisha hawataki tuseme hiyo kweli ya timbebe ya maisha iko juu. Wanataka tusiongee juu ya maisha yenye inataja ina, ina wananchi wanapitia ya ukweli. Lakini wana hala la kusema lakini tutakubali tu. Lakini cha, cha maana ya kwamba I want to tell my principle Kalonzo Msioka mahali huko. Don't forget about the Kenyans. The economy is not good at all. You can see for now the price of sugar, 2 kilograms, is 560. The price, the electricity is now is merging is and increasing so much. The Kenyans are crying. The cost of wage, the cost the, the law uh, the uh, cost of living is very very high. So please, please, please don't forget that the reason why we came out and went to the street carrying our sufferings on our head that maisha ya ke maisha iko juu sana musisa musikubali ati musikose kutaja maneno haya tunawangojea mmetuambia tutulie for the next 60 days we are there we are waiting for the outcome it's very very painful i want to also touch i'll talk about the us ambassador who is eating our money here in kenya and has also come here to politicize that the election of Kenya went free. It was free and fair. My friend, the woman who is in white in color, we are telling you, leave alone, alone Kenyans. This is not the first time Kenyans are looking for their rights after election. Each and every election, there is no credibility. There is no fairness. And we must, we must stand for our own country and we must say that enough is enough. We want a free and fair, whereby free, free and fair election whereby kama election ikisafanyika hatutaki kwenda kwa barabara na lakini hatuwezi nyamaza hata ikiwe nini hata uhusiano wa Kenya na US tutakata hata hizo bendera yenye iko ina, iko hapa Kenya hapo pale girigiri tutaenda na tutaingoa na tutaweka chini juuwezi kuja hapa Kenya alafu natuambia Kenya ilionekana dunia nzima hata makanisa ilikuwa wamekata isipokuwa Ole sapit peke yake ndio alikuwa pale pale peke yake ikiwa anasimamia kama mtu wa Mungu lakini uchaguzi wa Kenya mwaka nenda mwaka rudi hatujawahi pata ukweli wa uchaguzi kwa hivyo tutapigania hata kama tutaikufa tutakufa waje ni leo pia nijibu wale ambao wanafikiria ati wanaweza stua wale ambao kutoka watu wa Nyanza waje ni kuambia sisi watu wa Nyanza hatuogopi na turudi nyuma Sisi tuna hizi kwa bahari ni tuna, we stay in the lake. And pale kwa lake kuna the very dangerous animals ambayo tuna fight. Na hakuna siku tunatumia weapon, tunatumia tu akili, tunatumia tu mwiko, kuwa nyani, kuwa crocodile, kuoka, kuwa hippopotamus. Hata iwe nini? Hata upepo tunapigana na ile tunashinda. Kwa hivyo uwezi kuwa hata unasherekea na unasema hata umesema tu kwame umetukomeza uwezi tukomeza tutaendelea na bado tutafuatilia baba na tutasimama na wa Kenya tuta, we look for our right such that for election you cannot come and steal our election mwaka nenda mwaka rudi alafu na kamwa ngombe yetu yenye iko na maziwa alafu nataka ati tunyamaze hatutajamaza ama hatutanyamaza hatuwezi nyamaza Kama una kamwa ngombe yetu tunataka hiyo ngombe yetu na tuwezi nyamaza hata kama unatuua utuue na tutarudi nyuma ukisimaliza Raila Molo Dinga kuna Raila ingine bado anajitokea sea ukimaliza gaucho hata kuna gaucho mwingine bado atatokea ukimaliza na ukanga kuna ukanga mwingine bado anatokea kwa hivyo sisi tuwezi rudi nyuma kwa hivyo nataka kumwambia deputy president gachagua wewe kwa leader 
Wewe ndio nyani ambaye wako juu. Wewe unachekelea wengine ambao wako chini. Ujui hata wewe kesho utarudi hapa hapa tu. Wewe pia utakuwa nyani na utachekelewa. Nikundu yako bado itakuwa ile 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 tu kama hao wengine. Waje kutuchekelea. Ikiwa unatumaliza unatuua, waje kutuchoa. Don't cry, don't laugh at us. Wewe pia bado ni nyani ile ile na watu wa Mount Kenya wachani waambie. Tuliwaona kama nyinyi mnakula mchele, mnakula nyama, mnakula maharagwe ikiwa sisi wajaluo tunauzika pale. Election is coming and in politics there is no permanent enemy. Kuna wakati 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 hata nyinyi itafika. Tutakuwa tunakula nyanya, tutakuwa tunaserekea venye nyinyi mnatuserekea huko kama watu wetu wamewawa. Tulikuwa tunatarajia huu mtu asigoi Ruto aende hata kwa apelekea watu wao nyama, sukuma watu wa kule mchele na tu kuona mbona hapa tu ndio wanakuja na hizo hiyo hiyo ukora ya kupea watu chakula kwani Mount Kenya ndio kuna njaa Mount Kenya kuna njaa tumeshindwa this is the first time kume Mount Kenya ndio wana chakula kidogo kidogo ndio wanaoletewa alafu wanakubali hata kama vitu ni mbaya hawezi wakisimamia wa ukweli kwa hivyo mimi kama mbunge la wananchi coordinator kutoka Kabondo Kasipo na Mabai County the best county so far who is being headed by the only lady Gladys Wanga who is working perfectly mama nakuambia hiyo kitu utakalia mpaka utoke wewe mwenyewe unafanya kazi that's the only county in the Luoland the only country in Kenya which is which has got women in the power and they are working tirelessly we love you kwa hivyo mimi nawashukuru watu wa media ya kwamba tusiwawaje musi musi kae nyuma yetu ati umtaki kuja kumtu kumtusaidia juu ukiwa nyinyi mko hai serikali itatumaliza na hai sisi hatutachoka kuongea asante sana wanaamida